Today marks two years since geologist Daniel Robinson mysteriously disappeared in the desert near Buckeye. Since then, his father has been frantically searching for answers. Tonight, his dad held a virtual vigil in honor of Daniel. Team 12's Jonathan McCall is here tonight with the bigger message the event raised. Jonathan? Yeah, Mark Caribe, David Robinson using this event to not only honor his son Daniel, but to also highlight the cases of others who are still missing. For two years, David Robinson hasn't given up the search for his son Daniel. It's a, it's, it's a very difficult day for my family. Uh, we have been uh, through it all, guys. June 23rd, 2021 was the last time anyone saw him. Daniel, a geologist, reported missing after leaving a job site near Sun Valley Parkway and Cactus Road in Buckeye. His crashed Jeep found just miles from that site. Last month, Buckeye police releasing new details in that ongoing investigation. Daniel's cell phone placing him at the crash site around 10 o'clock in the morning, the day he went missing. Tempe police conducting a forensic investigation into his personal electronics. Through a virtual candlelight vigil Friday night in honor of Daniel, David Robinson also showcased and shared stories of others currently missing, even offering a guideline to families who find themselves searching for loved ones. Joining the conversation, Joseph Petito. His daughter Gabby went missing during a cross-country trip with her boyfriend. Her body would be found. The story would grab global headlines and controversy for all of the media attention it received. According to the Black and Missing Incorporated, minorities make up 40% of missing persons cases. Many of those don't receive as much attention. Petito says that has to change. You can look at the statistics of the shares on certain sites when your children, when your babies and children, they get shared the most, you know, and then it's down the line from there. With still few answers and little to no clues, David Robinson promising to fight on to find Daniel. You guys have been making it uh, a lot easier to own the searches. You guys have been making it easier day by day. And David Robinson says he is not giving up anytime soon. Daniel's body has yet to be found, and the case remains open and active. Anyone with information is urged to call Buckeye Police. Jonathan McCall, 12 News.